Okay, there was all. It's a bit of a um, video here for Fairlane 500 Skyline. I'm in uh, Nathan Brown. I think I read on the forum somewhere in a vintage TV uh, radio forum. I think they were saying how to get this veneer to stick back onto their old TVs. What I do is use this method an iron and some baking paper. Baking paper to protect the iron. Just dab it like that. Don't do it for too long though because you'll melt it. Sure enough, the iron uh, reactivates the glue and fixes it. Did all the top with it. it kind of got a bit too long now and bloody melted it, so do not hold it for too long. It will melt this like crazy, so that's all nice and restored. I'm going to cut polish it now to get rid of all that mess there. Came up quite well. Did a little bit there. Just going to do the other side. Think about this place so far. This is all working quite well now, this one. Yeah, the up there to the transmitters down there. That's my VHF transmitters, they're all tucked behind that um, cupboard there. One's a UHF and I've got two VHF tra uh, transmitters. Two VHF channels and UHF channel. So I've got a bloody good picture on these TVs now, especially this one. Very good picture. This side was um, least affected. That other side though was all the way up here. Wasn't much holding the other side on. So look, going over with the iron gets all those wrinkles out and they have to the glue. It needs to be like um pretty much repairs it like new. Strong products, I think that's a retailer. Proprietor Limited. Railway parade something. And the phone number. Yeah, it's not stand pop, but I'm pretty sure that's the um one of the people who assembled the set here. Or the retailers who sold it. Did have legs but well, I would not have a clue where the hell they got to. Would have been nice to have the original legs to this. Anyway, let's uh, get this all repaired. Even still got the original brochure. Look at that. That's from when the TV was in the um, store when it was new. Here you go. That is cool. There you are. That's all the faults ironed out of this TV. I've now completely and 100% ironed out all the faults. Electrical side of it's done, the picture's very, very good. Now the cosmetic side of it's pretty much restored. Beautiful. It does get a little bit uh, shiny in spots, but nothing, a bit of cut and polish won't fix. Because that's what they do in the factory, this stuff irons on. There's a glue on this veneer, and when they iron it, the heat activates the glue, and that's it. Now stick it on. As you can see, it's obviously shrunk over the years, but I'm not too worried about that. I've actually stopped it from peeling off. So this is one of the main reasons why some of these um, TVs are ditched. Not only when they were um, still being used in the analog era, but people didn't like it when these uh, started flaking off. So this is the one away because of the bloody veneer was coming off. But this uh, method works good to um, repair them and restore them. And there's a meter that got plugged into it. It's a good little portable meter. Anyway, let's uh, set it back up and give you a demonstration of the picture quality. It's very, very good. Let's do a demonstration. And who discovered that? Someone with a bit of wear there, but obviously been, the volume's been used a lot. Picture adjustment is pretty light off. Oh, yeah, I've bugged the UHF antenna up. Whatever mom's been put in That's my VHF. I'll find where I'm at. Another other VHF channel. We're staying in peace. Come on. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, they're going to be retuned, re I think. I'm a police officer. Anyway, this Please one works real well. Clips are broken on this thing, unfortunately, so it doesn't want to stay on. Uh, Very good picture. Uh, this thing did have a lot of bleed when I started, but after some careful tweaking, this thing's got a bloody good picture. Now we'll test this one. Was it Rufenica? I'll get back to you. That one here also has a, got a really good picture as well, so. Excellent deduction, Gabriel. 
as long as the CATs are good, they're very um, they're well worthwhile preserving these TVs. You don't find these anymore. Marriage is great. UHF. I'm happy I don't have to do Other UHF. I know I think it's gonna be or the um same but channel but um I've got done um another VHF modulator as well, so I've got the same set to box to a UHF, which is a VCR and a VHF modulator. So I've got two options. Turn that off and I can pick it up through here. Obviously more modulators, I can get more channels in. Very good picture on this thing. Unbelievably good picture. I should tell you it's a little known fact that every anyway. bears the groove. That was cool. I never said it turn off like that before. That was very interesting. And then this one, which uh, Nathan Brown's been uh, wondering about, is the old uh, P117 I got. This was a good find, this one. The uh, Air Tech uh, shop that bought this at never normally sell TVs because no one bloody wants them. So I was very lucky to get this. All warming up. Wait till the audio to come in. It is all valve too. Yeah, you left the holes on the holder lock on. Yeah, it holds on the whole place up in this thing a lot. It's how I got it tuned. There you go. Very good brightness, though. Very good brightness. Got a very good tube. Yeah, that one's a bit dirty. Not getting a signal through that one. Anyway, that's my collection so far. Have that uh, advice helps you. The iron method surely works very well. That looks a lot better. Got this thing restored pretty much to new condition now. Anyway, another little white general. Now, I have done some videos on this, but to confirm, the model is GC131. 1979 this one was made. Bit of a scratch in the tube, but nothing you can say about that. It's only a light scratch. It's Camelot to turn off. No antenna on this. For a days, not enough to kill her. For no antenna, this thing's picking up pretty good. Impedant switch. Okay, Ricky. AFT off, look at that. There we are. That's my TV collection. I've got one more, the, um, the old Pi Series um, 85, which I've yet to find room for in here, because I've got to put it on its original stand. Anyway, that's my little uh, TV collection so far. Thanks for watching.